Hello Earthlings, I'm Adam the Alien, you're watching Adam the Alien. It is May something, I put the, I'll put it on the screen here because I can't remember. And I have just gone to a Hello the Future concert, which was wonderful. And at the end of the day we've got stories to tell, so you come on to take me up because it's our turn to fly! <laughs> You're a sudden but inevitable betrayal. That's why I like you. That bourbon was super bourbony. <laughs> Wait, what? You're going to get drunk, Nicole, because the bourbon is super bourbony. Hello, the future is comprised of Nicole and Nicole and Nicole. My name is Nicole. My band is Hello, the future. I'm the only person in my band. Who is apparently the cousin of someone I went to high school with, who I ran into here, and that was weird. Showing up at the concert, I ran into Candace, who I went, into, went to high school with, haven't seen for 10 years. We stared at each other very awkwardly, like, mm -hmm. no, you can't be, because but faces don't age and things. <laughs> Remember that narrative film class we took? Oh, Lord. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Yes, all I remember is that you committed suicide in one of them. Yes, yes I did. I expel you both! Oh. Uh, uh, I'm glad that didn't really happen. I'm glad you're here today at this concert. I am glad so too. My cousin's concert, I should yes, say. Yes, that's the weird thing. Mm -hmm. So someone I met in L.A. several years ago. <laughs> Dance! Dance! It turns out to be your cousin. Yes. And performing here. <laughs> it's a small world after all, and I can't sing it for copyright reasons. That was right. Like, Are you supposed to be sitting like on the knee or something? <laughs> <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, this is my CD. All the songs on Geek Girly P are about some kind of fantasy or sci-fi or geeky female character. I know I must remember the past and I must remember what I have learned and I don't know what's going to happen to me. CD is called Giant Robot Album. It was recorded by myself with the band The Long Holidays by Sunburst Recording in Los Angeles. One of the things I have learned in this past year of independent musicianry is that there is a limit to the amount of work I can do myself. Being a singer-songwriter is sort of like the perfect, perfect job for an introvert because you get to do both the singing and the songwriting. But I reached my limit about six months into the project, and then I sort of started talking to other people in bands and recording studios and things. It is amazing and wonderful. We'll be releasing probably in 11 days, although I can't say for sure. And it will have trumpets, and it will have theremin, and it will have drums, and it will have shaker eggs, and all kinds of cool things. This is where the band plays. Solo. You are starting to have the drunk arm thing. Nicely done. Life is a lark. So I dragged my dad along because he likes this kind of music and he'd never heard of Hello the Future. And uh, what did you think? I liked it. She's got a great voice and. Uh, I liked her sad songs. You took me to your bed. Not a castle, not a fortress, not a spaceship, just a bed in a room. And you were a in your arms. Yes, her sad songs are very good, especially the, uh, the, the summer, the. I've already forgotten the song title. This song is called The Endless Summer of Adulthood. The Everlasting Summer of Adulthood or yeah, oh, something. Yeah, that was great. This is the one when I was mixing with my guy yesterday and we were putting everything together on the final CD. He was like, this is the best one. And I'm like, I know. Yeah, this is the best one. They made it through week by week and somehow paid their rent and tried hard to make something change. They were so good at trying. They sat in t-shirts and shorts in the October moonlight you can find links to Hello the Future to buy albums and whatnot and find more music and awesomeness down in the video description. And that is all for now. So until next time, fare thee well. Oh, I wish I were a questionable content girl. Cause then I would be pretty. This is why I know you guys are my yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> Usually I have to
stop the show and prompt you to tell me, but we know how this works. I wish I were a questionable content girl, cause then I would be hanging out with Marigold and Hannah's as they play games in their rooms. Then we'd go and take a break at Coffee of Doom, where they would draw a skull and crossbones floating in my cappuccino foam. And if I were a questionable content, 